Hey guys, this is the Anime and Music Phantasm 4 here, back again with another DJ Update video. So today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you 7 DVDs, all of which are bought from CEX today. And like like usual, I'm not going to give away the, the towns, give away any lo local towns of um, CEX, which I buy them from due to privacy reasons. Which I'm pretty sure you guys already know this rule by now, since I've already stated in my past DVD updates. And um, yeah, I didn't I didn't buy as many as last time, but uh, seventy is, is enough because yeah, I had a I already ha I already bought a lot last week. But uh, yeah, hopefully this update should be worth it. So anyway, without any further ado, let's waste no more time and mo move on, shall we? Beginning off with the first one, which is He Man and the Masters of the Universe Volume Four. The battle continues. Yeah, this is and yeah, this is basically the the classic He Man and the Masters Universe series, and uh, I've been wanting to get something He Man related for a while, and uh, yeah, I think this DVD is a good start. I mean, I know it's uh, Volume Four, and I know there's uh, like a lot more to to go through and uh, a lot more to buy, but you know, since I saw it anyway, I just thought I may as well pick it up. And yeah, I did see a couple of episodes, and uh, it's 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 actually a really really good show. In my opinion, but yeah. If you haven't, if you haven't watched *He Man: Master Universe*, I recommend you do. And uh, yeah, it's also from *Contender*, I believe. Looks like *Contender*. And um, I did see uh, *He Man: He Man: The Master Universe* box set as well, but that was like forty quid, so I couldn't afford it. So for now, I'm just gonna stick with um, buying the DVDs individually. But yeah. So here's the front, the spine, and the back. The episodes include Quest for He-Man, Dawn of the Dragoon, The Royal Cousin, Song of S Song of Selyse, The Return of Orko's Uncle, and Wizard and Wizard of Stone Mountain. And it's on for 130 minutes. And there's a disc. Next up we have is The Angry Birds movie. Um which is released by Sony Pictures and Rovio Entertainment. And yeah, and, um, I think I used to have a copy of this like a long, long time ago, but uh, I, I'm not sure what I did with it. I just might have put it in a container somewhere. It's probably buried somewhere. But, you know, this copy is good enough for me. So, um, yeah, I can find so it's good to um, have it again. That's why. And yeah, and, um, I was discussing um, the Angry Birds film with uh, Angry Birds movie with. Um, Acro Disco Fever forty five in the um comments yesterday and uh um and um, Acro Disco Fever if you're watching this this is a DVD that I bought since I know you're a massive fan of that film and yeah it's been a while since I've watched the um Angry Birds film but uh yeah I remember I vividly remember it having some like hilarious scenes which I've already stated in the comments so so yeah <laughs> yeah it's such a fun film to watch so yep yeah, it's highly recommended if you haven't. So on the front here we have Red, Chuck, and Bomb, and um, who are both um, I think they're like hugging Red and uh, Red who is in the mood as usual. Well, he's angry so because he's an angry bird. Yeah. So anyway, here's the front, spine, and the back, and um, I'm not sure if I'll get the second film or not because, but um, maybe. But uh, there were some moments in here which I weren't really keen on, like. The freaking baby shark scene. Ah, oh my god, I mean, and sorry if I'm giving away spoilers if you haven't seen the second film, but if you um seen it, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And so on for one hour and thirty three minutes approx. And there's a disc and for an advert here for Angry Birds Action for mobile phone and TV. Next up we have is Of Mice and Men, which is um, a film released by MGM and MGM DVD and I think, I think United Artists as well. And yeah, I have watched this film before and uh, I think I, I also used to have a copy of this too. But, uh, and it's actually a very, very good film in my opinion. And uh, I do remember studying this, um, I do remember studying this, um, this um, series, in my, studying this um, film in my 
back in my old back in my old school and uh which i'm not going to mention due to privacy reasons obviously and yeah this is one of the one of the things we had to uh study and we did watch the film a couple of times as well and uh yeah it's really good i mean i haven't watched this film in uh quite some time now so i'm glad to check it out again and uh yeah so here's george and lenny on the front played by gary Sin Cincy and john markovich Gary Sinzi, who plays George in this film, and John Markovich, who plays Lenny. So, here's the front, spine, and the back. And it's on for one hour and, six, one hour and 40, 46 minutes. And here's a disc. Next up we have is Batman, which is the 1989 film from Tim Burton. And, um, yeah, I saw this and, um, I saw this and I, f and I was interested in buying it, so I thought, why not pick it up? And, um, I don't normally collect, like, um, DC DVDs that much, because since I'm more of a Marvel kind of guy, but, uh, I have heard the Batman films are quite good, so, uh, I might, you know, check, check them out and, um, well, mostly the um, the classic ones like this one, Batman t Batman Returns and Batman Forever. Um, I'm not sure about getting Batman Robin though because I have heard it's um, a bit strange compared to compared to the the rest of the Batman films. Um, and there's also the Dark Knight trilogy as well, which I might plan to get pretty soon as soon as I check them out. But for now, I'll just stick with the um, 1989 Batman film. So. Uh, I know that, I know there's no like words on the on the cover but it's just, so it's just a um Batman logo. But uh yeah the the, the words the logo's here is on the spine so yeah. I know this may not be like a a beloved um one of the most beloved Batman films of all time since uh since you know young people like me usually prefer like the the more modern Batman films like the Dark Knight Dark Knight trilogy, but uh, since I'm a fan of uh, retro films, or I just thought this would be good enough to add to my collection. Features Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton, I think, and some for 121 minutes, and there's a disc. Next up we have is True Grit, which is um which I bought on um which is on Blu-ray. As you can see here. And um I've not watched this film before, so I'm looking forward to checking out what it is. And um but I do know this is from the directors of um Ethan Coin and the other guy. I know they both directed the um the big films like The Big Lebowski and um Fargo and uh and a few others, which um I have both on DVD already. And um yeah, this is one basically one of the films I've made. So um I'm interested in checking it out. It looks looks quite good. A masterpiece is an understatement. Yeah. And so triple play Blu-ray this time, so it includes Blu-ray, DVD and digital copy. So yeah, there's the front, spine, and the back. And is there a running time on here? Hmm, I don't know. I don't think I don't know. I don't know if there's a running time. Uh, I'll just have to. If I um, if I know what the running time for this film is, I'll probably just lift it down the description. Yeah, it's really hard to see. So here's um, I believe what's that's the um, the DVD disc and the um, and that's the Blu-ray disc. And inside you got like a, a leaflet here, an advert here for um, playing playing your movies on the go and stuff on your portable devices.
Next that we have is Coming to America, which is um, which is a film by Eddie Murphy. And yeah, this is another film I've watched before, and uh, I remember it. I think, and in my opinion, this is like this is a very very good film in my opinion. And that's another and it's another film which I haven't watched in a long time, so uh, I'll be happy to uh, revisit it again. And yeah, I remember some moments in there really really funny and. Uh, yeah, and a lot of things, um, and a lot of things that Eddie Murphy does in this film are just hilarious to watch. So, if you guys are at the age of fifteen and you haven't seen this film yet, then I recommend you do. It's a, it's a good film. Yeah, especially the um, "Good morning, my neighbors." <laughs> yes, yes. Um, freak you too. That's what I'm gonna say for now. But uh, yeah, he does like um, there is a, there is swearing in that scene. So. Uh, if you're at the age of 15 and you don't like swearing, then I don't suggest you buy, suggest you buy it. But um, if if you are 15 and you and you can handle swearing and profanity, then you have the right to watch this film. But yeah, this but yeah, this has to be like one of the most funniest scenes in the film, if I can remember. So anyway, here's the front spine, and you'll have to excuse me if the covering is a bit yucky. Yeah, disgusting. I tried to peel the sticker off, uh, but it just, you know, made a complete mess, so... It was the same with, um... Of Mice and Men, and, uh... Yeah, Of Mice and Men. And then, the same problem with the from the, with the other DVD, which I'm about to show after that. But anyway, here's the back. And, yeah. And it's on for 112 minutes. And here's a disc. It's a good DVD. And the last DVD for this um, update, we've got Bram Stoker's Legend of the Legend of the Mummy, which is another film by um, Bram Stoker, who also directed Dracula and uh, and a few other films. But the only one I've got from him is um, Dracula. Well, well, they, it's the only film I know. From, from him and uh yeah and um there's another film i haven't watched yet so um i'm glad to check it out soon and yeah it's a horror film because it's rated 18 so uh if you're if you're not a fan of horror films then do not what do not watch this film or if you're under the age of 18 then that, that the same rule applies same with uh, if you are but offended by strong language and scary scenes and uh yeah I think there's like two films in total, I'm pretty sure, so uh, I might check this out first and then I'll probably, probably pick up a second film sometime soon. And uh, yes, yeah, so there's the front, spine, and the back. I don't know which um, company made this, but I'll probably check it out soon as when I watch it. It's on for 95 minutes, so it's quite short. And here's the disc. So that concludes this DVD update for today, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Which DVD out of all seven is your favourite? Please share your answers in the comment section. And um, my, get, my, um, um, my guess is probably going to be like uh, Angry Birds movie or something. Because since one of, you, one of you guys are a fan of this film. A big fan of this film. But uh, which DVD out of the um, seven is um, do you like best? Um, please share your answers in the comment section and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and and yeah be sure to um subscribe to my ch and be sure to um and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't haven't already and um thank you guys for watching and i'll and i'll see you next time peace guys and um take care of yourselves